I am Leslie North, or Dr. Leslie North, and I am from Western Kentucky University. I am Assistant Professor of Geography in the Department of Geography and Geology. Um, my research and my um, scholastic interest are in karst environments, which is what is the result of this um, sinkhole. So that's why I'm here. Um, so karst, K-A-R-S-T, um, they're a very a special type of landscape. Um, they are formed on soluble bedrock. So in here in Kentucky, it's primarily things like limestone. And essentially what happens is you have a formation um, of carbonic acid for the rainwater mixing with uh, CO2 in the atmosphere or in soil. As that travels through the bedrock, because it's soluble, it can be slowly, very slowly dissolved away. Um, and what results is the beautiful caves and sinkholes and springs and things that we see around um, Kentucky. Not an unusual thing. The unusual feature here is it happened inside of a building and happened in a Corvette museum. Um, that's certainly the unique part, but these things happen all the time and they're just usually in a field or somewhere where we don't notice them as much. Um, but they're here. We live with them. Um, caves are common in karst areas. Um, sometimes you have shorter caves. Sometimes you have the world's largest cave like Mammoth Cave uh, here in our region. People live on a karst landscape and they don't even realize that they're living on them. And the thing to know about karst is they are unique in that the surface and the subsurface are very interconnected. So everything that we do on the surface can really impact what's going on below ground. And that could be our groundwater, that could be the sensitive cave biota that might be living under um, the land surface. So really we need to take this as an opportunity for people to learn more about the environments that they're living on. They're safe to live here, uh, so there shouldn't be widespread panic or anything like that. This is safe, it's just a matter of being more aware and knowing that precautions are being taken and to do your part in those particular precautions. It's, it's just a, a collapse sinkhole, it, it happened for whatever reason and the structural engineers and the car scientists that are here um, the team will get together and they'll figure out exactly what have happened. There's a many different causes, some natural, some could be human induced, um, and they'll figure out what it is, they'll correct the issue, and we will go on with our museum.